just like the protest in Wellington, they came to kind of take over this area. So he came, parked his car, and refused to move it. Right. And said, you know, obviously, we didn't have any authority to move him. Well, our whanau decided that wasn't quite true, that we were going to move him. And so they, which is what they did, yeah. they pulled him out of the car because he wouldn't move the car. Kind of a scuffle ensured and, yeah. The police took him away and they came and got his car and um, obviously took his car too as well. But he was so angry. D really disappointing but not unexpected because that's what they've been doing is coming past and being quite abusive and stuff slowing right down and I guess because we're on the main road um, it's not that easy for them to pull in you know and kind of disrupt things. They're targeting our marae is because it is a vaccination centre and so I had contemplated um, cancelling our our, um, our clinic on Sunday, but now I've changed my mind. Because like it's their right to not be vaccinated, it's our right to be vaccinated as well, eh? And so why should they stop us being able to do that? So there have been times, like mostly that they've stayed on that side, but they have got in, come into the marae, they've snuck in the back door, um, they've served me with a notice um, to to leave, to cease and desist, those kinds of things. So, um, yeah, so it's not the first time. When we have our mobile clinic, they hurl abuse at us. Yeah, this is not unusual. You know the recent events in Wellington, you know, my women, how, how all of our heartfelt bloody good wishes go out to the amazing job that the police have done you know, and clearing them out, and the abuse that they was hurled at them, the abuse that was hurled at the journalists, and the threats against our parliamentarians, and all of that, eh? It's been really terrible, really, really terrible. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, it mightn't be all of them, but actually, it just takes a few, and you're all tarred with the same brush, you know? Um, how can you expect, uh, respect people's opinions? if they threaten to kill you and execute you and all those things. How, how can you? You can't, you know. You can't. Yeah.